We have about 400 cattle and about 800 acres of land. This is a lot of responsibility. Oh, yes, sir. And more than, than I can handle right now at my age. So I'm looking for a man that will step in and do the kind of job that I would do myself if I were able to do it. Now, can you tell me some one of your qualifications? Well, yes, sir. I'm from Virginia, and my father moved into this area, and I'm a stock breaker. I've done quite well. And I know the vine and sell them the cattle. Uh, I've ex had extensive experiences in all phases of stock purchasing. And my father bought the beef farm out west of town. You may be familiar with John Brown. And uh, I, he's getting up in years, and I want to be closer to him. And so I'm looking for work in this area. And I uh, understood that you were needing someone with my capabilities, and uh, I'm going to talk with you about that. I really believe, Mr. Brown, we need more young men like you in this neighborhood. Well, I'm happy to hear that, sir. Your qualifications sound good. And I am in need of a man. One other thing, though. Are you a man of the Lord? Oh, yes, sir. In fact, I've been looking for a church to join. I'm very happy to hear that because I would expect my employees to be interested in the same things that my family and I are interested. Yes, sir. Well, I'm mighty pleased to hear that. Mr. Brown, I see no reason that we can't make a deal. No. You all regret it, yes, sir. Thank you for coming by. I'll see you next week. I think Dawson's got a pretty good thing of this. And you've noticed the old man Grubb seems to think a good deal of me now. And he'll do anything in this world that I want him to. Now these rascals about here have spoke so against me that I was satisfied he was looking for someone else to take charge of the farm. See, I know just how to reach him, and he trusts me. Oh, he trusts you all right. Yeah, and we'll make it pay. You mark my word. Go on. Well, you see, it's like this. He's already spoken for stock to this person, and he wants me to go to Pittsburgh and make the purchase for him. Now, I'm pretty sure he'll say something to me about it today, and I know exactly how to work it. Quiet. Here he comes now. Hello, Doc. Good day, Mr. Grubbs. Heck, about that trip to Pittsburgh. Now, Mr. Grubbs, I've been thinking about this matter, and I have concluded that even though you speak favorably of me, and knowing there's been talk not to trust me, well, I've received a proposition from another source in another county, which I thought of accepting. Why, Pink, what's this all about? Well, Mr. Grubbs, I've been talking about so around here that I've lost your confidence. Of course, I don't want to work for a man who would think I was dishonest. Hank, you're wrong. You haven't lost my confidence. I don't have any doubt about your honesty. Now, I'm a man that makes my own decisions. I don't care too much about what other people are talking about. Now, I want you to go to Pittsburgh and make this deal for me. What do you say? Come now. Is it a deal? Okay, sir. I'll stay. But if you distrust me... Then it's settled. I'll go right now, draw up the papers, and get your cash for you. You won't regret this, sir. Say, that was pretty smooth, Pink. How much cash will he give you? Seven thousand at least. Damn, seven thousand. Well, you head west and find us a farm. Buy it and write the call. I'll go to Pittsburgh and cash in Grubbs' notes and hide out until I hear from him. I'll go and get out of here before the old man comes back. My name is Doc Brown. I'm from Virginia. Looking for a place to settle. Kind of like looks things around here, isn't it? I wonder if you might uh, know someone I can make a hard, fast deal with on the place. Yeah, I do. Name's Mahirin. Silas Mahirin. And uh, where might I find this uh, Silas Mahirin? Yeah, it's about a two or three hour drive west of here on the old Little Hartford Road. Matter of fact, you wait a while while I'm riding down there myself, right along with me. Oh, I'm. In quite a bit of a hurry, uh, where might I find him down there? Well, he'll be at the celebration. You can't miss him. Why, well, thank you, sir.
neighborly of you to donate that pig for the 4th of July picnic. i tell you what, preacher, I was really happy to do that for the community. Say, I'd like to meet Judge Kinchelow from Hardenburg. This is our new pastor, Brother Stoopville, Judge. Yeah. Uh, preacher, I'm mighty glad to see you, sir. Nice yes, to sir. have you, Judge. Thank you, sir. Say, Ben, uh, Delilah and the kids uh, sure been looking forward to today. Great glad to have you all here, Mark. Yeah, Ben. This is the only day of the year that Mark Shane doesn't go hunting. <laughs> now, Uncle Billy, you know how I like to hunt. Yeah, and we know how you like to eat, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, speaking of hunting eat, boys, I got a little story to tell you. It happened uh, last week. I was uh, headed down there at Fort Mouth House, uh, sitting out on old Sinking Creek. You know where my house sits there, don't you, Uncle Billy? Well, Mark, everybody knows where your house is. Yeah. Well, anyway, I was heading down there at Fort Mouth House. Boys, I tell you what. Right there behind it, breaking out of that creek, is the biggest buck deer I've ever seen. Had a tail on him that long, if I'm a lion, I'm a dime. Ah. I said, boy, I'll tell you what, you know, Uncle Billy, I hardly ever go anywhere without my rifle, except, of course, the church there on Sunday. But, you know, I wasn't coping it that day, and, well, he thought I'd need a rifle where I was going anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that big buck deer is breaking out of that creek. I said, if that don't kill him, I reckon I will. So i tell you what, boy. Walking down through there, and he get him a drink, and and while he's drinking, I was walking, and he quit drinking and look up, I stopped staying real still, you know. Well, after a time or two of that, I saw a rock laying there in his path, and I tell you what, when he went down to get him another drink, I reached down, I got that rock, Uncle Billy, I ran back, and I threw it at him, and I knocked oh, him out. Oh, 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 Mark, you know what the preacher's been saying about lying on Sunday? Yeah. That's right, Mark Shane. Now, Uncle Billy's been listening to me, and you come in late every Sunday morning, sit in the back, gander out the window. Mark Shane, I'm going to have to move you closer to my pulpit. <laughs> now, preacher, now, I'm plenty close to that pulpit already, and you know how I like to hunt anyway. I reckon the devil wouldn't get a man for hunting, would he? Well, I suppose not, Mark, but he'd sure get you if he got anybody. <laughs> 
Hey! Here, here, here! Hey! Boy, there. Well, come up here, boy. Come through there about to run over the preacher. I'm going to give you a good whip with this stick here. I found out where that big buck deer is. Where's it at? Do you know where that big buck deer is I've been talking about? Where's he at? Down behind the barn in the woods. Down behind our barn in the woods? You hear that, boy? Hey, now listen. You ain't just trying to get out of whipping here, are you? Tell me the truth. <laughs> we got nine, honey. And which one is big? Oh, huh. You know Mark James. Two things he likes to do. One of them is hunt. Call me Doc. I'm from Virginia. I've been traveling for days. I moved for a place to settle. I want to bring my father and my brother here. As I was traveling through Litchfield, uh, folks there said the South and Huron had some ground for sale. And uh, they said I could find him here. Yes. Matter of fact, I believe he does have some land to sell. Dallas, Miss Hayes, bring Doc and Huron over here. Doc, come here. Doc, here. This here is Doc Brown. Hi, Mr. Brown. Please call me Doc. All right. Doc, may I help you some way? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I'm interested in purchasing some ground. I want to bring my father, my mother, and my brother here from Virginia. I'll be needing some cleared land and some pasture land and also some wooded area for hunting, because I sure do like to hunt. Tell you what, Doc, I've got just exactly what you're looking for. But now in this hunting business, you don't have to see my friend Mark Kane talk to him about that. He's our favorite hunter and storyteller here at Pine Knob. Tell you what, a lot of people around here just make yourself a home, meet these fine folks. We'll talk business later. How about that? I uh, think. Yeah, come on, Doc. Let me introduce you to a few of the neighbors around here. If you and Uncle Billy here, be neighbors. Please make your acquaintance, Mr. Brown. Uh, call me Doc. All right, Doc. Say, hey, what brings a man of your means here to Pine Knob, anyway? I tell you, Billy, I'm a stock trader. Being as the riverboat comes in over at Cloverport, it being the main road between Cloverport and Nashville, I fear there'd be a lot of trade through here, and I think I can do a good business. Doc, I handle a few head of stock myself. I know quite a few people here about you. So if I can be of any help to you, I'll have to take a call on you. Well, I sure will. I want you to meet this fellow, Doc. This here is Major Rowe. Uh, the Major here was in the War of 1812. He come all the way up to the Ohio River from New Orleans. He settled down in Litchfield now. He owns and operates one of the finest hotels in the state. The Ross Hotel. How you do, Major? Do you prefer to be called Mayor? Most folks call me Mayor. Major, is it your fine establishment that I heard about uh, Dallas and Heron? And I agree with being here, you do have one for hotel. Thank you, sir. Now go ahead and meet some more of these fine folks, and me and you will talk a little bit later on. I sure will. Hey, Doc, I'd like you to meet our famous hunter and storyteller, Mark Jane. Hey, Mark Shane. This here is Doc Brown. How you do, Mr. Brown? Call me Doc. All right, Doc. Say, uh, been helping over here and there a while ago. Uh, you were talking to my buddy Silas from here about some land here in Pine Knob. Uh, that's right, Mark. Say, you uh, looking for a little ground here, are you? Uh, yes, yeah, some wooded area for hunting, because I, I do like to hunt. Oh, he likes to hunt. Well, now, Doc, uh... Boys here, we like to hunt too pretty good, and well, I reckon the boys kind of look up to me as a hunter around here. 